Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing the demo for an upcoming horror game called Jory. This is a pixelated point-and-click horror game. I've, it's, it was on the itch.io page for the horror tag, so here we are. I don't really know much about it. There you have it. Maybe I should do my research so I can say things besides just, I found it on itch.io. This game contains scenes of violence. Player discretion is advised. Alright. Difficulty of fights. Let's go with normal. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I don't think there are ghosts in this game, though. I think it's like real life horror. It looks like there's a girl who's kidnapped, and I think that's who we play as. There she is. She's got a couple of adoring fans around her. Or maybe they're her kidnappers, I'm not sure. Oh, they don't exist. Are you gonna get that, or...? I'm just gonna sit there. My head hurts so bad. Crimea River. It feels like everything fell apart. Chapter 1 from the Dark Past. Oh. Oh, we're breaking out! Let's get it! Oh, great job! Just like that, we're unkidnapped. Oh, she's cold. Can you open up the, uh... What are you doing? Hideout. Oh, that's where I can hide. Oh! Let's hope that they don't come back. Um... Let's see... I mean, do we answer the phone? It's red, so I assume that means we can interact with it. There's no dial tone. Okay, let's check out the uh, suitcase underneath the bed. Oh, it's got a code on it. Where are we supposed to get the code? Should we, like, look through the pockets of the coats, or can we leave? I'm not sure I want to leave. Should we... Do we leave? It's locked. Oh, of course. Okay. So, when the cursor turns black, that means we can hide there. When it turns red, it means we can interact. Excuse you! Get it. Who are you? It's me, Jory. Jory? Your voice sounds so young. How old are you? I am just a child. Don't you remember me? I can't remember anything. And yet you're back. I don't even know where I am. Why was I tied up here? I had a dream last night. You were coming to get me. You're not answering our questions, kid. I asked you a question. I need to understand. Jory's straight to the point. Did you come back to help me? Okay, I'm feeling this child doesn't exist. We're not actually, like, having a conversation with them. I'll do my best. Yes, I will help you. Tell me where you are. I must stay hidden from monsters. I'm so scared of them. Okay. That doesn't tell me where you are. Don't be afraid. Monsters do not exist. Perfectly rational thing to say. Are your parents with you? I've been stuck here alone for so long. The kid's dead. Calling it out. Child's dead. I'm coming to you. Be careful. Dangerous things happen here. I'm not afraid. I'm fearless. I'm a grown woman. I'm not afraid. Calm down. I'm going to pick you up. Just tell me where you are. Give me the coat. The suitcase. Give me a key. Be careful. He'll come for you, too. Who are you talking about? You won't be able to defeat him. Find a hiding place and wait. Okay. Is this some sort of clock tower thing? Hello. I hear him coming. Okay. 
Okay, we're hiding. He's breaking in. So this is how we get out. We're hiding in the darkness. He'll never find us. What? He's looking for us right now. Why don't you give up and leave? This is like a clock tower thing. Oh, this is cool. We got a stalker. Oh, no. Oh, it's too bad. He couldn't find me. Is there anything else to interact with here? So I gotta get a code for that suitcase. Can I follow him out? What is this place? Everything's so cold. Yeah, I don't know. What? We got, sorry, we got a, a thermometer here. Gameplay. Sorry, I'm blocking it. I don't want to block it, obviously. Okay, if it turns red, it, I can interact. So I'm just pixel hunting at this point. I don't think I can interact with... So there's a... There's an elevator. Okay, we got a clock. We got a clock. We can adjust the clock's time, I'm, I'm guessing? Yeah, I don't know what to adjust the clock to, though. So maybe we'll come back to this. What's the thermometer for? Do I- am I trying not to get too cold? Okay, I'm guessing that he went in here, though. So do I really wanna... I must find the switch. Uh... My cursor turned red. Okay, okay. Man, I don't wanna cover this up. Hang on. Look at that! Magic! Now I'm not covering it up anymore. <laughs> what is this turkey? I'd swear I just saw this turkey move. Yeah, I did too. What? It looks like there's something alive inside. Is it eating its way out? That's gross. Wait, what? Is that a gun? No way. Is that a gun? Use your weapon. Hold down the right mouse button to aim. Release the button to shoot or press the left button to cancel the shot. What? I've got like a flesh weapon, like in Scorn. What? Leave me alone for two seconds. Hello? I hate this place. I was stuck there for hours. Jory. Strange things happen here. I was locked up here to do my homework, but it didn't always work out. Yeah, enough about you. What about me? What are you talking about? I like reading stories, but I hate math. I don't care. Do you like mathematics? I love math. Yeah, I love it. It's an exciting discipline. Something you would know nothing about. It's too difficult, and it's useless. You're useless! You're not giving me any information! Can you tell me what's going on here? No, the answer is no. A turkey has just exploded in my face. She's not even gonna- she's not even gonna acknowledge what you just said. A strange weapon came out floating in the air. Anything? Any information at all? That's the only way to defeat the monsters. Okay. Are you talking about the crazy guy with the chainsaw? Are you? I'm talking about those who live in the cold. They appear in the fog since the boiler broke down. Maybe we should fix the boiler. Where is the boiler? That seems like priority one. An elevator leads to the basement. I have never been allowed to go there. I don't know how it works. How long have you been here? Have you done anything since you've been here? I'll warm this place up so that you can get out of your hideout. Listen to this music, it's cool. Monsters will come back if you don't heat all the stages. Uh, I'll take care of the monsters. I'm gonna fight them, don't worry. 
you will need teeth to shoot them. That's what that is. That's ammo. Okay, that's what I thought. But the little the little mouse can help you find some. She hides them all over the house. Excuse you. Deepest lore happening here. Isn't she some kind of tooth fairy? Where do the teeth come from? What am I playing, guys? Monsters often lose some when they bump their heads. Okay. I'll do my best. Thank you. So, the monsters have flat teeth. Hey, there's the mouse. What the heck? Let's go over there. Let's get it. I found seven teeth? That's a lot of teeth. I'm just scanning. This is pretty cool so far, but I wish there was more stuff to interact with. Let's leave. There's another, there's another mouse right there. Is it the same one? Wow, I found more ammo. Okay, okay. I hear sounds. Oh wow. Get him in the head. How many shots does this guy take? Headshot. Oh, okay. Gotta get those headshots. Okay. So now I use the elevator? So that took about... That took eight shots, right? Let's see... Uh, I hope I don't run into another one. Let's go down to the boiler, I guess. I don't know what to do with the clock, or what code to use on the suitcase yet. I guess we'll find out. Here's the boiler. We found it. That was easy. What's this? There's a book. Three shovelfuls of coal for 12 minutes of heating? Excuse you? What's all this? Okay. So what's... I just can't do it. Don't tell yourself that, Jory. Don't worry about it. Someone tells me we're gonna have a fight down here. Okay, so we got a shovel. I have to fix the boiler first. Yeah. Okay. How do we... How do we fix it? Aren't I supposed to shovel the coal into the boiler? Can I shoot it? There is a screw thread. Okay. I think this is a code. Four. Five. Four, one, two, five? That could be for the, um, suitcase, maybe. It's the only thing I can think of, at least. I don't know. So those guys would probably respond, right? Because Jory said over the phone that they freaking respawn or whatever. That's right. Hi. Where you going, mouse? You gonna you gonna give me any ammo? I could use some. Whatever. Let's just get in there. Wait, what's that? There's something on the ground. Oh! Oh no. There we go, headshot. Two headshots seems to do it. And thank you for the tea. I needed some. Okay. Let's try this. Wait, what? Hey, right, cool. That was it. I got a wrench. Okay. That's something. 
We can take the wrench down to the boiler. And I bet... We could do something with that. I don't really see anything else to interact with. Which is kind of annoying. Let's get in the elevator. Like, the only other thing I can do in this hallway is interact with that clock. I'm sorry, what... Uh, we're going to the basement, I guess. Are there, there are five floors we can go to? Okay, hang on. Let me see what I can do here. Okay, so, maybe we can get the valve. Device is blocked. Okay. Uh, use the wrench. There we go, with the valve. Give me the valve. Okay, so now I got the valve and the wrench. Let's take a look at the book. So... This is a map. I'm gonna try and figure out what this is. This is a map. So there's... There's three other floors that I haven't gone to. And I gotta get four more valves, I think? So like, for example... Put, uh, okay, hang on. Put, uh, put one valve right there. This is not the right pipe. Okay, they have specific pipes they go to. Really? Does it go to that one? It's the wrong size. Is it this one? I know we had to match them. It doesn't fit on this one. Well, does it fit on the last one? Because if it doesn't, okay. Cool. I should shovel coal into the boiler. Okay. Let's do it. All right, we're making progress. One. Two. Three. Okay, there we go. It's fully, fully powered up. We got 12 minutes out of it. So, let's go to the third floor, or the second floor, whatever. This is pretty cool, though. I'm into the whole atmosphere and everything. Kill them all. Kill five monsters or hide out. Panic? I'm sorry, do I have a time limit? Oh, what? 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 I can't even see him. What did I pick up? Jeez, okay, so I got three out of five. There we go, get that headshot. Oh, I don't have any. I thought I still had bullets. Ah, this is ridiculous. Is there anything there? what I get, health? Sucks. Do I have anything in the mouse hole? I failed. Try again? No. I'll try it again later. That was... I ran out of bullets and I kind of panicked a little bit. So I'm not very good at that, apparently. Let's go into this limit of the demo. Oh, well, how much... How much can we do in the demo, though? You know? That's where, does this demo have an ending? I don't know. Anything I can interact with in here? Lots of broken glass. Limit of the demo. Oh, well wait, there might not actually be that much more of this. 
If I can't go anywhere on this floor, can I go anywhere on the next one? Here? Limit of the demo. Limit of the demo. So you can only go to these three floors. Oh, so this might not actually have an ending. I'll go collect some teeth and come back and see if I can do that time limit thing, but that's about all I got, I guess. I don't know what to do with this clock puzzle. Uh, I think the fact that we're running into stuff that is kind of blocked off to us. What's going on? I feel dizzy. What? Jory. Why aren't you doing your homework? I just can't do it. Put that book down and go back to your seat. at the big chair, huh? Still daydreaming about these stupid tales. How am I supposed to solve this problem? It's simple. I already explained it a hundred times to you. Wow, what a stern lecturer we have here. So are you a tutor or her mother? Decimals must be converted into minutes. What? Yes, I know, but it's difficult. Knowledge and understanding are two different things. Yeah, that's not really helping. You're not getting out of here until you find the result. Wow, what a stern authoritarian teacher we have. I just meant to help you prepare my cake. What? Hurry up and finish it before the clock rings. The clock? What would, what would the clock ring? Did you see the five up in the upper left? It was up here. What happened? I think that was you, maybe? That was maybe a flashback? Chapter two, buried by time and dust. I mean, I just came in here for some teeth, of which there appear to be none. And what's this? A train leaves at, what? The ink's washed off. I saw, I saw it though. But I saw the, Something about a train. Are we gonna solve the problem or? Yeah, I don't know. Something about the clock ringing earlier made me think that maybe we could adjust the clock. But I don't really wanna mess with it until I know we can do with it, which it looks like we might not know that. Little house on the lookout. Hurry to recover the lost teeth of monsters. Oh, little mouse on the lookout. Okay, does it have wings? I like the zombie art. That's pretty cool. So that's the only book I can look at. I hate having a pixel hunt. So, there's something I can do with the washed off ink, I think. I think maybe it has to do with the, uh... I think it has to do with the clock. I think I have to get a time of some kind to put on the clock, but the ink's washed off. And I can't take the note with me, so I have to get some kind of device to read the note with the ink washed off. And I don't know where that device is. All right guys, so I was getting pretty frustrated with this game. I was trying to pixel hunt for anything I could to get past where we're stuck. And I found a lemon. It's, it's in this drink right here, but the I wish I had been recording when I found it. I was just frustrated and I was looking around just at my own pace and I just found it in the drink right there. You have to click in a very specific spot to get it. And now we can progress. 
Here's how crazy, here's how desperate I got. I went and I looked up YouTube videos. There's only like, as of the time that I'm recording and playing this right now, there were only like seven of them. And no one's beaten this freaking demo, if you can believe it. I couldn't believe no one has beaten this. No one has solved this puzzle that I'm about to solve. So yeah, you find that lemon. And what what's nuts about this is that I've already solved the next part, but it sequence blocks me from solving the puzzle out of sequence. Uh, so, okay, I know exactly what to do. So here it is, we take the lemon, and we use it on the page. Come on. I already know what it is. I'll explain how I solved it. So, a train leaves at 6.16 a.m. And reaches the end of the line at 1.36 p.m. It stops only once at a station located 179 kilometers away from the station of departure and 490 kilometers away from the terminal. What time does the train stop at this station? The answer is 8.14 a.m. I've already worked it out. I can show my work. Here's what I was thinking. This is how I solved it. Anyway, it's it's a word problem and that's that's what you do. So... Now that we can see what's on there, I'm surprised that there's, like, no reaction to this. <sighs> anyway, the answer is 814. That's what time it reaches the station. And I, I set the clock to 814, but I guess it prevents you from sequence breaking. Because the way that I did it was I looked back at my recording and I took a screenshot of the word problem before it disappeared so I could solve it. Anyway. Okay, so it's at 9.10 right now. Let's bring it around. They only go one way, which is very frustrating. So it's at 8.10 right now. It sounds like they're saying Timor, Timor, Timor. Oh my god! Sorry, it's really frustrating. I was looking around for anything to solve that puzzle, and I just couldn't. She's just looking around, what's what's the deal? What's happening? Am I waiting for it to finish? Oh my god, there's another valve! That was a long time to wait. I'm sorry, I'm really impatient and frustrated right now. I even, like, I double and triple checked my math on the problem. Because I was like, this is clearly, it has to happen at 8.14 a.m. I even had my buddy Sino come up and double check my work. And he was like, yeah, that's right. Because I was like, I was convinced I had the wrong time, but I was just solved out of sequence. Okay. So now we're we putting this here. Neato! Cool. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's shovel some more coal in. Um... So I'm not sure what to do now. Um... I mean, I think that the next floor up is heated now, because it wasn't before. I'm not sure what using that second valve does for us. Okay, here we are. Yep. Are you trapped in the elevator? The elevator's powered off. What? That's that's Jory. I'm glad that you're back. 
Are you? I'm going to help you. Let's open this door. Everything will be fine. I trust you. Open the door, you little shit. Are you kidding me? Ah, we've reached the end of the demo. To be continued. However, development of the game continues. You can support us on corazif.itchio slash jory or by sharing this demo. Okay. So, I, wait, I can either panic or end. What? Let's panic. Oh, I think that that's the mini game where I shoot the zombies in a certain amount of time. Wow. Like I said, no one's beaten this on YouTube. I can't believe it. I mean, I know it's an obscure little indie horror demo, but... It was very frustrating. I wasted several hours looking for that dumb lemon. So I have a couple thoughts. I like the music, the atmosphere, and the pixel art. Like those three things about it. I think that the puzzles are a little obtuse. I think there needs to be a little more guidance and direction in the game. Especially, like I, I hate having to pixel hunt. I love point and click adventure games. If you've been uh, watching my content for a couple years, you know this. I've uploaded a lot of point and click games. But I do not like pixel hunting and you had to pixel hunt for that lemon. And I think that's evidenced by, I'm the first person who's found it on YouTube. Um, I'm just, I, I think that that needs to maybe be shored up a little bit. And uh, maybe a math word problem. Not the most elegant choice. Uh, I kind of liked the code for the suitcase. I mean, that was, that was simple enough to figure out. But um, beyond that, it was, it was a little too... Uh, too much of a reach sometimes. Anyway, I'm not really sure what to make of the story. I'm just guessing that the kid's dead and this is some sort of personal purgatory for the guilt-ridden authoritarian tutor that she had that we play as, but uh, that's just a guess. I'm not sure. And I don't know really anything about when the full game is coming out or how long the game is intended to be. For all I know, it all exists in this building and we didn't get access to the other two floors in the demo, but maybe that's all there is to the full game. Who knows? But yeah, I, I mean, like I said, I like the style of the game. I'm just, I'm not sold on the substance yet. I would have liked for us to have seen the chainsaw guy a couple times because I never had to hide because I was just shooting zombies in the head for the rest of the game. I would have liked to have had some moments where the chainsaw guy came out and we had to hide. Like we could hear his footsteps coming. I think that that's really cool. Hearing the footsteps coming and being like, oh crap, gotta hide behind the curtain or whatever. Uh, kind of that clock tower stalker feel. I like that. So those are my thoughts on Jory. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.